Hello and welcome to today's mini class, which is all about digestion. If you want good health, a strong immune system, and be able to go out and do whatever it is that you want to do in your life, <clears throat> we all need good digestion. I'm Mallory Reese, and I am super passionate about empowering you to live your best life. Best life in health, best life in wealth, best life just overall, and figuring out how to make decisions that are best for you because we are each individual and unique. So we are going to talk about general digestion, basically like how the digestive system works and how you can start to figure out what works best for your specific digestion. So let's dive right in. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Okay. So digestion 101. This is just a really quick, quick class. Thanks for stopping by my little home on the internet. All right. So so often our digestive systems get overlooked and abused. You know, in life now, it's busy. We're all really busy. Most of us don't cook from scratch. We um, know that we should eat more whole foods, but it's not always the easiest because of our lifestyles. And if you're like me and you don't particularly enjoy cooking, I totally get it. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about things that we can do to support our digestion beyond just what we eat. What we eat is very important, but we're going to talk a little bit more than just that. Now I have my notes here, so if you see me look down, you know, I still, I need my notes. But here's some things, kind of some indications that you can look at to see if your digestion, it might be like a digestive issue that's the underlying cause to some other things. When we have digestion issues, it can show up with symptoms like fatigue, skin irritations, headaches, ulcers, constipation, overgrowth and bacteria, candida, um, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, colon cancer, and you know, these are all things that are big things and unfortunately super, super common. And, you know, it's something that if you're willing to put the work in is healable. I truly believe the body is amazing. When we give the body the proper foundation, it is meant for health. But sometimes we have gone so far past that optimal level that it takes some work to get back to. Okay, so let's talk briefly about the basics of how digestion works. Because everything that we consume orally goes through the digestive system, be it food, medication, supplements, um, whatever we take internally goes through the digestive system. And even topically still affects the liver and the kidneys. Um, environmentally, what we breathe into the lungs also gets processed through the liver. So, and you know, the liver is part of the digestive system, not the main part we're going to talk about, but still I'm going to do a whole another video all about liver support because that is an organ you want to make sure to take good care of because it will serve you so well in a long, healthy, happy life. Okay, so back to digestion. <clears throat> so, you know, and here's one thing about digestion. If you think about it, we've been conditioned to eat three times a day and maybe some snacks in between, right? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, maybe a couple of snacks. So the digestive system is always, always working. 
it never turns off unless you intentionally give it a break, unless you do like a cleanse for an extended period of time where it's actually able, and it depends on what kind of cleanse you do. There's many different types. Some of them are food-based cleanses. Some of them are more drink-based cleanses. There's a whole gamut. So depending on the cleanse, you, your digestive system is still working. It never gets a break. So it's very important for us to take care of it. Um, our digestive system is what breaks down the food so that we can then assimilate the nutrients from the food, right? And it is from those nutrients that we get either lots of health and vitality, or if it's completely nutrient depleted, we don't get very much. And even if you're eating a really, really high nutritious diet with primarily fresh fruits and vegetables and whole foods, then that's fabulous. But if you don't have proper enzymes or good bacteria in the digestive system, it can make it to where your body's still not assimilating all those good nutrients. We're going to talk about what you can do to encourage extra enzymes and probiotics and all that in a little bit. But <clears throat> so it is the digestive system is this complex web of muscles and organs that kind of talk to different areas of the body and it also works with our endocrine system, our hormone system, it works with our cardiovascular system. It is so, so interconnected. The digestive system is directly connected with our brain. So if there's brain issues going on, making sure to take care of the gut is so important. So we want to make sure everything is flowing well. Everything is doing exactly what it's supposed to. It flows well from when you put it in your mouth and all the way through the digestive system till it comes out the butt, right? We want to make sure everything flows well. <clears throat> But sometimes your digestive system might get a little blocked up. If you ever had that feeling where you just feel like your food's just sitting in your stomach or like, you know, you got to poop, but it's not coming out, right? When it gets blocked up, that's when toxins start to get reabsorbed in the body or they can never leave the body. Making sure that we have a really good, healthy, functioning colon is one of the foundational keys to good health. If you are not having a very strong or healthy colon and healthy bowel movements, that tells you a lot about what's going on internally. <clears throat> so when we don't have a great digestive system, you tend to feel more tired, you can feel more sluggish, um, get more brain fog, skin. If you have any type of skin issues, it's a really good indication that something's going on in the gut, <laughs> excuse me, and also affecting the liver. So these are all huge indications that I feel like it's becoming more mainstream and more knowledge, and I'm just here to spread that even more and make it easily accessible. <coughs> excuse me. I did, I'm getting over like a little cold that I had, so I, uh, forgive me if I cough a little bit. Okay, so let's talk about a quick trip through the digestive system, where it starts. So my question to you is, where does digestion start? Think about it. So, so often, and I know I thought this, is I always thought that digestion started in the mouth. You know, you started eating the foods. I knew the saliva had some enzymes and everything that helped to break, break down carbohydrates, but actually, actually digestion starts in the brain. Think about, oh gosh, think about your favorite food. Like I love a really, really yummy, super crunchy salad with romaine lettuce and some cheese and carrots and um, a really yummy like balsamic dressing with um, like all the different veggies that you can throw in there. Like I like what I call like a garbage salad. <laughs> all this stuff, right? And if you notice, so I want you to think about something that you love eating, even if it's something you know is not great for your body. That's okay. Think about it. Maybe like a yummy piece of chocolate cake or um, some ice cream 
or some good hummus dip or pizza, whatever you think. And start to visualize it. And if you notice, your mouth will start salivating. So digestion actually starts in the mind. It starts in the brain. When we start thinking about food, it tells our body, ooh, ooh, I'm ready to eat. So I'm going to start creating more saliva in the mouth because that saliva is the first step of um, breaking down the physical food. So after the brain right? We think about it. We're like, ugh, super hungry. That sounds amazing. Our saliva starts going, preparing the body, putting more enzymes in the mouth to start to break down food. All right. So, um, what that, so then we actually take a bite and that saliva starts to break down more of the carbohydrates is primarily what the saliva starts to break down. And then we chew, right? We have our, our teeth, these beautiful, beautiful pearly white savars. So we use those. We chew, chew, chew. And then we have um, the esophagus. So we, you know, we chew up that food. One of the biggest tips I have is please make sure to chew, 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 chew your food. You almost want to chew it all the way down to a paste to where like you're swallowing it almost like liquid. I know in our fast paced world, that's hard to do, but that's one of the biggest things that you can do because it starts that process of breaking down the food. It gives the enzymes that are naturally in the mouth time to do their job so that the gut does not have to work quite as hard and it can do more of what it's meant to do. So then we have the esophagus. It's the tube that the food passes from the mouth down to the stomach. And um, at the bottom is this little drawer called an esophageal uh, sphincter, which keeps the stomach acid down and the food from coming back up. So if you've ever had like that heartburn, that means that that muscle, that little sphincter muscle, is not operating as it should. It's actually opening when it's not supposed to, and it lets that stomach acid come up that gives that heartburn feeling that we talk about. Um, If you've ever been pregnant and you've had that, that's just, you know, your belly, you have a baby in there, so it takes up a lot of room, and um, it can kind of start to push that up and mess with it. So it's really important to take care of all the muscles in our body. Movement is huge. We'll talk about that later too. But, um, okay, so it goes down the esophagus. That little sphincter opens up. Food goes down there. It closes so food can't come back up or the stomach acid can't come back up. And then we have the stomach, and the stomach is like the blender. It churns everything, and it mixes the foods with the hydrochloric acid and more enzymes, and it breaks down even further and eventually turns it into a liquid called chyme. All right, and then that liquid is what passes through into the small intestine. And the small intestine's primary job is to pull out all of the nutrients in the food. So, um, and we want to make sure that all of that is functioning really, really well, that we have good enzymes throughout the body to help pull out because the enzyme is what breaks down the food and then the small intestines can do its job. So we want to make sure the small intestines is functioning well so it can actually pull out all those good nutrients from the food that we eat. And then after it goes through the small intestines, as you know, the small intestines is really, really long. It goes into the large intestines, which kind of tracks up and around the outside of the small intestines in one big long tube. And um, the large intestines primarily job is to pull out the remaining moisture in the food and maybe a little bit of nutrients. The small intestines pulls out most of the nutrients. The large intestines just pulls out kind of the rest of the moisture that's available. And then eventually it gets down into the descending colon. And then we have good poop that's formed that goes down into the rectum. And once it hits the rectum, then that signal of like, oh, I got to poop. And then you poop. So that's short and sweet 
very basic way that the digestive system works. So we want to have good energy flow from what we eat down through. One thing that I will add in for the digestion, so if you have followed me for any length of time, you know I love human design. I think it's amazing. It has really, really helped me in my life and live my life in more energetic alignment. And in human design, not only is it what we eat that helps with digestion, but it's also the conditions in which we eat, like how we actually eat the food or like what the environment is like. So each of us, there are six, I guess technically 12 different digestion types in human design. So for me personally, I am what's called direct light. So my digestive system functions the best during daylight hours. So I, and I've noticed this, like I feel better if I eat just when the sun's up and optimally if I can eat outside in the sun, that is amazing. I love it. Um, on the flip side, you could have someone that's indirect light. They're actually only meant to eat after the sun goes down. That's when their digestive system functions the most optimal when they're in energetic alignment. And then you have like open taste and closed taste, which are my two kids. You have consecutive appetite, which you're literally only supposed to eat one thing at a time because it's a very primal type of digestive system. So if you're interested in any of that, feel free to leave me a comment or reach out and email me. I'll leave an email button at the bottom. I would be happy to run your human design chart and we can see which type you are. And I can give you just a little bit of guidance on how you can come into alignment with that. Okay, so we talked about how the digestive system works. Let's talk about things that we want to do your very best to stay away from. Now, we are all human, and I am not one to judge, because if you know me, I love my sugar. I do. I love baked goods. They are like my biggest downfall. Love, love, love baked goods. <laughs> but the, the thing is, is like, you know, to learn that balance, to learn what's right for you. One thing that I always struggled with when I was first going on my health journey is like this feeling of, oh God, I'm like this horrible person because I'm supposed to be this like health nut, but I can't stay away from baked goods. And something that kind of helped me with human design is like, I feel like my body actually does need a certain amount of sugar. I don't need a ton, but I actually feel I'm a generator and generators when they are living in alignment are supposed to feel satisfied and me having a little bit of sugar every day is actually very satisfying. So I'm learning the correct balance there because I can overindulge and that I feel and I don't feel good. It's like when I have just like maybe a small little square of a brownie or like one cookie or something, it just gives me that satisfaction that I feel like my body needs. But the biggest thing is to find your balance, to limit the amount, like all the added sugars, especially like in overly in processed foods, there's so much extra sugar, right? In um, like sodas and drinks, like I don't drink a lot of calorie laden drinks. I don't, I drink like Ningxia obviously, which we'll talk about in a little bit. I drink water and I drink coffee with a little bit of almond milk. And then like every once in a while I'll have like a smoothie because I do like a fresh fruit smoothie. But I, I really try and stay away from sugary drinks because one, they're just not worth the calories to me. And like, I know that that's not how I want to get my sugar. If I'm going to get my sugar, I need it. I want it in baked good form or a chocolate bar. <laughs> Okay, so really be mindful of added sugars. Um, refined oils and grains like canola oil, please. There, I'm not against using oils, but you use like olive oil, coconut oil, um, almond oil. There are so many different types of oils out there now that are much, much more suited for the body. When we're working with those like refined oils or hydrogenated oils, they're really hard on the body. They, the body doesn't really recognize it, doesn't know what to do with it. Um, refined grains, like, um, you know, like 
a bunch of cereals or like too much processed bread. That's not a little. So just being mindful of all these things because diet, the harder, you know, the body, the digestive system doesn't recognize a lot of what we eat these days. So trying to eat as many fr uh, fresh fruits and vegetables and all that kind of stuff. So um, toxin overload is another big thing. So this is the con a high consumption of alcohol. You know, if alcohol is your thing, like having a glass of wine or like a mixed drink or a beer at the end of the day, I totally get it. You know, we're all different. We all have those things that like we're just not willing to give up. But the biggest thing is just limiting it, right? Just like, okay, one beer, one glass of wine, whatever it is that works best for you personally. Because I feel like when we restrict too much, that's when we like swing the other way and just like while out with it, right? So finding your balance and, and really getting to know your digestive system, like, okay, my digestive system is still good if I, I have two beers, if I drink more than two beers in a day, like I start getting constipated, I have extra bloating, I have all this. So really learning yourself. That is my biggest thing, following your own inner tu intuition and learning your body. You are worth it to take the time to learn what works for you best. So drugs, and I'm not just talking about like recreational drugs, but medications and painkillers, those are really, really hard on the digestive system. And in particular, the liver. So many of us have like skin issues, like if you have eczema or psoriasis or just like acne, all that kind of stuff. Whenever you have skin issues, that is your body letting you know, hey, my liver is is overloaded. And because what happens is when the liver gets overloaded, your next place that your body is able to expel toxins is the skin. So that's always a huge indication. So if you have any of those things and your healthcare provider has not discussed your liver with you, please, I mean, I am not a doctor never going to claim to be, have no desire to be. I do what I do and I just educate to the best of my ability and always tell you the ball is in your court. It is your job to empower yourself further and figure out yourself. And so, but looking into a liver cleanse is huge if you have skin issues, because if you have skin stuff going on, your liver is overtaxed. I, and also with constipation, your liver is probably overtaxed because your body's holding in the poop that's supposed to get out because it's full of, you know, it's the waste. And when it stays in the body, those toxins and that waste just starts getting reabsorbed. We don't want that. Um, pesticides is another big toxin. So the best is you can to eat organic. Even organic's not perfect, especially if you're here in the U.S. If you're in another country, they might have better standards, but even our U.S. standards are not that great. Um, food preservatives, so all the processed food um, and dyes. So like all of like, you know, the red 40 and the blue whatever and the yellow blah, blah. If you can get foods, if they are processed foods, check the labels and see if you can get like more natural colored foods from like turmeric or something like that. A lot of our beets, if it's like a red color, they'll use like beets. But really staying away from those food dyes as much as possible because they're really hard on the body. Um, and then the last thing with digestion is chronic stress. So that's a big thing. When you are stressed out, especially all the time, this is really, really hard on the digestive system. You know, that's when fight or flight kicks in. And when fight or flight kicks in, if you're constantly in a state of stress, it's telling your digestive system to stop because you have to like do something. You have to make a quick decision, right? So really having ways to handle stress. Like I am, I love putting out like yoga videos and meditation videos in different ways and ideas and working on mantras to work with my stress. Because most of the time our stress is all up here. What we're stressing about is not, sometimes it's actually happening, you know, but 
stuff's happening and we're projecting like, oh my God, like this is happening. Like this might happen. This might happen. This might happen. This stuff might, then we get ourselves all stressed out. Anxiety kicks in all the different things. So having practices, cause life, I'm not, yeah, I'm just going to tell you life's probably not going to get any easier. Like no matter where you at, no matter how much money you have, no matter what's going on, there's always going to be things that are going to be stressful in life. And it's how you are able to cope with those stresses, to bring down the cortisol levels in the body and all that good stuff. So these are big things, big things. Okay. Um, so, and then stress, I will attest to stress weakens the immune system. So my family is usually has a powerhouse immune systems. I do everything I can. I use my oils. I, we eat as well as we can. We drink lots of water. We drink Ningxia, you know, like I do all these things. We take all of our supplements. I have all these tools that I use to help take care of our bodies and give them the most support because we don't live a perfect life either. You know, my husband likes to drink soda. I don't keep soda in the house, but whenever we go out to eat or he stops by the gas station, man always gets a fucking soda. (laughs) So like, and you know, we like, like I said, we like baked goods in this family. So we're not perfect. Never think that we are perfect over here because we're not. But I have lots of tools that we can use to make things kind of work out better, right? And support our immune system. But back to my story. So over the holidays, we just, my, I know, like my husband and myself, we were just very stressed out. We just bought a new house. We had a lot going on. And um, stress totally took us down. My my family got hit with a stomach bug one week, and then two weeks later, we got a cold, and it was, like, so weird, because usually if we get sick, it's, like, maybe a couple of times a year, so we got hit twice in one month, which is rare for us, and I know, I knew it, it was stress. It was because we were all very stressed, you know, me and my, my husband were stressed, which made the kids subconsciously s- stressed out, because they could feel me and my husband's energy, so it took us out. And I could feel it. I was like, oh, okay, we need to work on the stress. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about improving your digestion. So 10 ways that you can improve your digestion. Things that are pretty easy to do, actually. The first one is chew your food well. That is something I feel like has been lost. But as I've been going through my Master Herbalist program, that was like one of the big things that they first talked about. Chew your food. You literally want to chew your food until it's a liquid consistency. If you are, if you take like five, like five chews and then swallow, that food is not broken down enough. The saliva has not had time to do its job. So, um, so number two, finding ways to reduce your stress, figuring out what works for you, drinking sufficient water. So, Kind of like a rule of thumb is drinking half your body weight in ounces of water a day. So what does that mean? So let's say you weigh 150 pounds. That half of that would be 75. So that means you want to drink 75 ounces of water a day. That's kind of like your goal. All right. So, you know, so take whatever your weight is, divide it in half, and then that tells you how many ounces roughly you want to drink a day. Again, listen to your body. Really get to know yourself. Maybe yours is a little more. Maybe it's a little less. That's just kind of like a starting off point. Um, include lots of plants in your diet. The more plants you can get in, the better. My, <coughs> excuse me. My family eats lots of fruit. We're good at, I mean, I'm pretty good at my vegetables. I love salads. But, you know, like my kids, they're not big vegetable eaters. So I just encourage them to eat lots and lots of fruit. So we eat lots of fruit in my family. Um, anything that you can, you know, like raw is really, really good because it all has those natural enzymes. Fresh fruits and vegetables have the most enzymes that naturally help your body to break down food and then allow the small intestine to absorb the food and all those good nutrients. Eating enough fiber. Fiber helps to like make good solid poops. 
and um, then helps those peristaltic muscles in the colon to release those poops so you're not getting backed up. <coughs> A big thing that, excuse me, <coughs> I should have brought my, I have my zing right here. This is my little healthy energy drink, if you will, my Ningxia Zing. But, um, so get moving. Something that I, one of my uh, four pillars of health is movement. And I don't care how you move. Find a way that you truly enjoy moving. Me personally, I love yoga and just going for a walk. Those are my two things that I love other than I'm, I move a lot just in, in my life in general. But for like my enjoyment movement is yoga and walking. And um, I don't feel the need or pressure to do really anything else. Those really, really work for me when I do them on a consistent basis. But find something that really lights you up, that makes you happy, that makes you actually want to do it. Because that's the big thing is like you can follow everyone else's advice, but if you really don't enjoy it, then you're not going to be consistent and you're not going to want to. So find a way to move your body that you truly enjoy. Um, if you are a smoker, you know what? I get it. Smoking's hard to release. And I feel like whenever you want to release something, you have to truly be in a place where you're ready to release it. So stop smoking if you can, if you're in that place to do so, or take steps to get yourself in the mindset of being prepared to do that. Drinking less alcohol. Alcohol is a big toxin. It's really hard on the digestive system and the liver. So limit that as much as you can. Um, add as many berries in as you can. Berries are super, super good and they're high in antioxidants. Um, extra green tea, a lot, any, pretty much any kind of tea, but green tea. Um, I love red raspberry leaf tea. That's really good for the body and the digestive system. Some peppermint tea or spearmint tea are very supportive of the digestive system. So all that good stuff. Um, for number nine, you could try foods that are warmed up, but really with that one, um, now I wrote this and now I'm, I'm, cause I was reading that and then I don't fully agree with that. To me, that comes down to your human design. So some people function better on a warmer diet and some people function better on a cooler diet. It's called hot and cold in human design. And some people are supposed to eat foods that are naturally a little bit, at least a little bit higher than their body temperature. And some people need to eat foods that are cooler than their body temperature, depending on if their actual digestive system runs a little hotter or a little cooler. So that's something that we can run in your human design and give you a little guidance on. Um, again, just reach out. You can leave a comment under this blog or you can email me. I love receiving emails. And then the last thing is implementing quality supplements. There's lots of supplements out there on the market. We're going to talk about my favorites to use, and I will also link them below this video. Okay, next one. Okay, so let's talk about a few of the supplements. One of my favorite ones, and I did not grab it. I grabbed a few, but I forgot to grab that. My daughter was kind of losing it, but is called Comfortone. And this is like the eliminator supplement. So Comfortone is a combination of herbs and essential oils that help to eliminate residue from the colon and enhance the natural ability to function properly. So it has cascara in it. Um, it has, which is really, really good for helping the body cleanse and helping that per the peristaltic muscles in the colon. So what happens is the colon has these muscles that kind of go in like a wave-like motion and they are actually what helps to pull the poop down and out. And when we are not pooping, when we feel like we need to poop for different reasons, sometimes you're not able to go when you need to go, that can start to like uh, freeze up those muscles and they don't work as well. So cascara can kind of help to like help them like, okay, let's do our thing. 
I love that. Uh, comfort tone can also help because, you know, in our colon and throughout the whole digestive system, but, you know, all of our digestive system kind of has all these folds and everything. And especially like in the colon, poop can get trapped in there and those, all those little folds and be hard to eliminate and get crusty and all that good stuff. So this is a supplement that can help to actually break off all that crustiness and help you eliminate it. Another one that I don't have on this slide, and I think, yeah, I'm going to, let's actually go to the next slide. So I love Comfort Tone. Comfort Tone is from Young Living. It's the company. I'm a brand partner with Young Living. I am a huge proponent of Young Living. I think that it is an amazing company with lots of integrity. So if you are wanting to become a customer and join my team, I'm here for you. We have tons of extra resources, especially stuff that I can't say um, on social media and all that good stuff because of, um, you know, people wanting to censor things. So my team is amazing and we have so much fun. Okay, so some other recommendations for supplements and essential oils. I'm a huge fan of essential oils. Is The first one is Digize Vitality. So this is an essential oil blend from Young Living. Underneath this video, I'm going to link a link to um, where I have populated this whole collection of recommendations that I have in my YL account that you can go through and add to your cart and decide what works for you. I'll talk about that more in just a minute. But let's talk about these recommendations that I have. So Digize Vitality, this is an amazing essential oil blend that really, really helps digestion. It helps the body to digest better. It has phenol and um, a few other things in it that, let's see, what does it have? I, I wrote it, you know what, I'll read it off. It has tarragon, <coughs> um, peppermint, juniper, fennel, lemongrass, anise, and patchouli in it. So I will say, it's not the most aromatically pleasing oil ever, so it's not one that I usually diffuse or ever diffuse. <laughs> I guess if someone was really nauseous, I could diffuse it. But, um, it's a great one if you have any tummy issues. So if anyone in your family has an upset tummy, this is a great oil to rub right on the belly. And it is it works wonders with upset tummies. It's also great to put right in a capsule. I love to get the veggie capsules and I'll put like a couple drops in there and fill it up with olive oil if I need to and take it. I do recommend when you are ingesting oils, Young Living oils are safe to ingest. That's why we have the Vitality line that lets you know that the white labeled oils you can safely take internally. Um, and it's because of their purity. Young Living's oil purity is unmatched. I mean, the founder, Gary Young, spent 35 years of his life learning proper cultivation techniques of the herbs. We do everything in-house. We grow all the plants that get, we grow all the plants. We do all the distillation and all that good stuff in-house or with partner farms that meet what Young Living calls seed to seal. So we can control the whole process from when the seeds are planted into the ground, through the whole growing process, the harvesting process, the distillation process, and finally, and then they do all the science. They do like mass chromography and max spectrometry and all that kind of stuff. So making sure that we have the best oils on the planet. Okay, so that's Digize. Love, love, love. This is like something that everyone needs in their medicine cabinet for sure. The next one is probiotics. You know, I'm sure everyone's heard about probiotics before. Um, so often there's a lot of things like medications and processed foods, alcohol, um, even recreational drugs that really deplete the good bacteria in the body. If you've taken antibiotics at any point in your time in your life, one dose, one adult size dose, oh, excuse me, is it an adult or child? I think it's adult. We'll go with an adult. Adult sized dose of antibiotics will wipe out the good bacteria in your body 
for seven years. It'll take your body naturally if you don't take any more antibiotics and you eat really, really well. It'll take the body naturally seven years to repopulate all that. Um, I will say I could not even tell you the last time I have taken antibiotics. My daughter, who is two, has never had antibiotics in her life. She's never needed them. My son has not had antibiotics since I started this oily health journey that I have been on for the last five years um, because I have tools. They haven't needed them. They've had no need. So, um, but, and I make sure that they get their probiotics every day. So we have Life9 for the adults. This has 17 billion active cultures in one capsule. Um, it has nine different um, biotic strains to it. So it's very, very diverse. It's really good for the body. And then they also make what's called Mighty Pro for the kids. So it comes in these little packets so they don't have to swallow like a capsule. And it tastes like a pixie stick. It is so freaking good. So we call it their pixie stick. And they love eating their pixie stick. Okay, the next thing, the next four things that are on this list right here, we have essential zymes, essential zymes four, detoxime, and allerzyme. So I'll go through all those very quickly. I have a whole, in my group, on my team, I have a whole video dedicated to all four of these. But basically, it's all of these are enzymes and you know everyone knows about probiotics but not everyone knows about how important enzymes are enzymes is what actually breaks down the food so that the small intestines can uptake all the nutrients from the food and just like things deplete the good bacteria in the body the your enzymes get depleted the same with processed food alcohol drugs medication um, depending on your lifestyle, if you use like a lot of um, cleaning chemicals in the home, all that kind of stuff. So it's really important to repopulate those enzymes as well. So essential zyme, this first one, is kind of like your everyday enzyme. Give me one second. My computer is yelling at me saying if I don't plug it in, it's going to die. So let's not have that happen. Okay, so we have essential zyme, which is just like your daily enzyme. It's a great, just everyday enzyme. Then we have essential zymes four. So this is uh, use as needed. It comes in like a dual capsule, and one of them is a plant-based enzyme, and the other one is actually an animal-based enzyme. And those two together are really good, like if you know you're going to be doing some, be doing some indulging, like if you're going out to a really nice dinner and you're celebrating and you know you're going to drink some alcohol and have some, you know, extra meat and like dairy and, um, you know, indulge in some chocolate cake afterwards, you just know that your digestive system's going to take a bit of a hit. This is a great enzyme. Essential Zymes 4 is a great enzyme to take on an as-needed basis when you know you're going to do some indulging. And then we have detoxime. So detoxime and allerzyme are both, if you are vegan or vegetarian, these are the enzymes you're going to want to take because those are both um, vegan-friendly enzymes. Detoxime helps the bodies. Uh, it helps just, it gives great just in general enzymes, but specifically, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Specifically, it's to help the body detox. So it's great for the liver. It's great for the kidneys. It helps to release all the toxins in the body. And then allerzyme is kind of what it sounds like. So if you have any allergies, specifically food allergies, allerzyme was created to help with food allergies to help the body start to work through those food allergies but also seasonal allergies. It's great for that as well. So I highly recommend Allerzyme. Then we have Comfort Tone that we talked about that helps the body actually release. We have ICP Daily. So that is Young Living's um, uh, fiber kind of drink. It's a powder, but you put it like in some water and it tastes really good. And um, you drink that every day and it just helps to give the body extra fiber and the fiber is actually what helps to like bulk up the poop and make it solid so it can be released easily. And then we have Ningxia Red. 
I love me some Ningxia Red. So that's Young Living Superfood Drink. It has amazing, amazing antioxidants, which we all need more antioxidants in our life. It helps to combat the natural oxidation that help, that happens just from living in the world that we live in and breathing oxygen and getting a little older and all that good stuff. So um, Ningxia Red is amazing. I will do a video all about that coming up, but I wanted to put that out there. And then the last one on the list here, and then I have one more that I'm, I did not add to this list, but I will add as a link to grab, is Juva Powder. So Juva Power is to support the liver. Like I said, so often our liver needs extra support because it gets inundated with all these toxins from just things that we eat, products that we use on our skin, products that we use to clean our house if we're not mindful of chemicals and all that good stuff or if you're still learning. So I love some Juva Power. Great. Okay. Now, let's talk about, oh, I'm sorry. Let me back up a little bit. This is not on this list, but this is another one that I love. So I love Dr. Christopher's Herbal Formulas. Um, Gary Young, who founded Young Living, was also a master herbalist, but um, Dr. Christopher is another one that I follow, and I'm actually going through his master herbalist program, but he has great stuff, so you can find all of his herbal remedies on Amazon, and I love the lower bowel formula, because here's the thing. You need to make sure that the, uh, the back door is functioning properly and well, because you could be doing all the right things, but if your back door, if the poop is not flowing out with ease like it should be, that's a problem. You know, you're just like kind of reabsorbing all those toxins. So I love his lower bowel formula. If you are on a journey of starting to get your digestive system in order, Comfort Tone and this lower bowel formula are great, great starting points. Because you want to make sure that the colon is functioning well and that the poop is being released with ease. So I will link that below too. Okay, so let's talk about getting the best deal. Okay, because I don't like anyone to pay full price on anything, especially Young Living products, because you know what? I'm going to be honest. When people look at the sticker price, they're like, oh my gosh. So there is a way for you to get uh, customer team pricing where it's 40% off. So what I love is below I linked all the different Young Living products that I talked about that can help support your digestion. On my website, you can also find yoga flows to help with movement if, you, if yoga is your jam. I have meditations that to help with stress. Meditations are great for stress, so is yoga. Um, we have tons of resources on here to help with stress management, with encouraging healthier eating, and all that good stuff. But if you would, if you feel like you need some of these supplements and you're ready to get oily and join my oily love team, we would love to have you part of our community. And to get started with that, just follow the link below and you can pick and choose which of those products sound like you need. Always follow your intuition. That is key to me. Don't listen to what I say. If your intuition is telling you something differently, please follow that because you know yourself best. And when we all start learning how our intuition speaks to us, our lives will be so much more in alignment. If I'm going to do a video very shortly about the basics of human design and following what in human design we call intuition, your authority and your authority, depending on how your energy type is, your authority actually lies in different energy centers. So you can get a quick glimpse of that. So you can start getting to know how your intuition functions, because all of our intuition functions differently. Okay, back to getting the best deal. So like I said, click on the link below. It'll automatically have all these products I'm talking about, and then you can pick and choose which ones you feel like are best for you. Now, when you spend 100 PV or more, you will get customer pricing. You'll get 24% off of 
the wholesale, the, excuse me, the retail price. You'll get what we call wholesale pricing. Now, you're like, what the hell is PV? So Young Living is a global company. So they kind of have their own currency and it's called PV. It just means product value. So that like across the board in whatever country you're in, it's the same value. So um, that's you can kind of think of PV, PV as Young Living's currency. And as you add things to the cart, it'll automatically tell you what the dollar amount is and what the PV amount is. Once you hit that 24% off, most of the time the dollar amount and the PV amount is the same since Young Living is founded here in the U.S. So you can get 24% off. On top of that, and you could just do a one-time order, make sure you like the products, get access to our community for a year, uh, and see you know how you love everything. Young Living also has subscribe to save, kind of like Amazon. So when you are on subscribe to save and you spend over 50 PV each month, you can get loyalty points. And you get anywhere from 10 to 25% back, depending on how long you've been ordering consistently every month. Like for me, I have been ordering consistently since I started, so over five years ago, and I get 25% back. So whatever I spend that month, like if I spend 400 PV a month, which is pretty average for me, just because I literally buy all of our products from Young Living, not just supplements, but household products, personal care products, oils, all that good stuff. I get $100 back in my account just waiting for me to spend it. So like yesterday I cashed in 360 points and I got like $360 worth of products for free. It was awesome. Okay. And then on top of all that, you get exclusive access to our loyal uh, Oily Love Team members only website. So it's on this website. If you notice on my website, there's a login. And where you can get support, we do, we have community building, tons of education. Education is my jam. That's what I love to do. So that is all there for you. So follow the link below. I also have a lot of what I just spoke about written up. If you're more of a reader, you probably would have just gone through and read all this, but it is all there for you. All right. So if you have any questions, I'm always just an email away. There'll be a button underneath somewhere where you can shoot me an email and, um, or you can find me on Instagram at Mallory.Reese, um, pretty much on any social media platform. I'm just my name. All right. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for sticking with me. Go do something good for your digestive system. Bye.